103. Yep. Yeah. I will. I hope I live. I hope I live to be 103. I don't think. Oh, look at my hair here. I don't think it. Uh, I gotta shave too. I don't think it. Uh, at my weight, I'll live to 103, but I might live to 70. Uh, you never see. You never see really old fat people. No. They're always skinnier. So I think it's a message. Lose weight. If you look at the the first 100 episodes that we're in 103. You can see my fat face is getting a little skinnier, although I might have gained some weight over the weekend because I had some Mexican food. I went to, um, <laughs> I, had, I had such a great hamburger at Resorts World. That was good. I went to Marigold, Yeah. right? Jason, my man, you were with me? We had nice, nice burgers. It was great. Josh is in the house. Skyla's in the house. Say hello. Hi. Hey, yo. Uh, we went to uh, Marigold with a really well-known actor, a uh, famous guy, grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And uh, what's the guy's name that just stopped by at the table? Should we tell it? John. John L. John, what's his last name? Lovitz? John Lovitz. Yeah. John Lovitz. The relevancy is not to call out John Lovitz. It's just the relevancy is that he just showed up at the table. Like, I'm like, surreal world. Like, <laughs> like what the heck? And then later on, our peop our friends from that other thing. Yeah. Uh, what's up, turn world? Up, uh, turn up world? Turn up world. Turn up world. They're like right next to us, too. Which was cool. So uh, I enjoyed that burger and all that. Marigold, Marigold is a lobster and hamburger place, if you ever heard of that. Like, there's, they make hamburger with lobster in it, too. And it was really good. All the appetizers. I didn't get the lobster in the hamburger, though. I got the regular hamburger. They had those sweet potato tater tots with mustard. Everything was good there. Resorts World. If I was writing a check for $4.3 I better hope that it's going to be good. Ready? What do you think? It was the one thing that threw us off. It was cash only or room charge. Uh, we we thank God for you. You like walk around always with like what twenty thousand cash. No, <laughs> I don't think you should tell people. That. That's great. Thanks, man. <laughs> Jason, <laughs> listen. Here's roll. what you need to know. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> just getting around. No, he's not. He doesn't have twenty thousand of cash. It's more like five. God, come on. All right, I yeah. mean, are they going to risk getting shot for five grand? I hope not. Those hollow. Some points. days it's two grand. Yeah, it could be a little. I could be a little light. It could be days. like a thousand one day. I don't know those hollow. Okay, points. sorry. I, you're the right. There's yeah. A good. Good thing only 500 people watch the show. That's good. <laughs> we got 40 and watchers now, and I don't think any of them want to kill you. So, drunk Taran says, that true? "I'm not going to lie. All the resorts world pictures make the place look cheaply built." I oh, really? I don't know. Uh, what just, was it like? Just, just in case. Anytime the D the uh, interview for naked, you know what? It's yeah. not scrapped. I'm sorry, it's not scrapped. It, 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 I, I know you want me to tell you it's scrapped. It's not, Justin. Uh, Ravi, Rod Wilson, it last broke three. Oh, yeah, DPW, all global, closed at 3.03. Something wrong? What's up? What's going on with the algos? <laughs> what, how does that make any sense? Doesn't make sense. How much sense. book value? I mean, I can't even comment. I, I don't I don't even go there. You don't Just have to comment. People are writing articles. Forget art it. Listen, people are writing uh, articles about it. Just, yeah, whatever. Just, you know, whatever. Um, what happened to the, the chat? Oh, you want the, the comments? Yeah, up I was again? enjoying Sorry. the chat for a second yeah, here. Yeah, the chat's here. Yeah, Mon, uh, Amon, hey, look, Amon, it's good to be king. Read that. It, well, it's good to be king. Where, le where, where, Jason where? leaves the house with 20000 leaves casino with five. That's actually not true. <laughs> Let me tell you, for over the weekend we played we played poker twice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, walk. Help me out here. We was it last night or the night before? Last night, right? No, no. Night, the night before. before. Night before. Dude, we played till three in the morning. I think two thirty. Right. Yeah. And you were down something sick. Like the, Jason has been down. I've seen him down three times where he was down to his last bet. One time he was down seven hundred. He rallied to, to win about nine hundred dollars. Then I saw you down around 900, rally to be up 300. Right. And the other night, I saw you down like, like 15 hundo or something. It, something. it was like sick. And you were pay you were getting terrible cards. It was like me two nights before that. Yeah. I was I was for me I was crushing it because I I was like up two or three hundred dollars at all times. Played a little blackjack. Chase was down like a, a couple hundred bucks, and then. Um, so we 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 ponied up to the marker back to a thousand dollars. Right. Kind of. I think we walked. I don't know what we walked away with. Uh, but yeah. you came back yeah. and won three hundred dollars after being down. You needed you needed twenty five hundred bucks. Total. It was remarkable. 
We had fifteen. I had fifteen hundred in the game. I had five hundred uh, spread out between. Uh, well, I was being the banker that night, which I usually try to be the banker. It just helps us crush it. But yeah, Crushed we came it. back and won. That that place that place has been a a nice uh, piggy bank for us. It really has. Between it's been you great. Go. Well, I don't want to tell you. You guys act like you're in your thirties. You know, I got to tell you, uh, this came from uh, McLean. Is that, do I say that right? W. Yep. M. W. M. McLean. McLean, who did a coolest video. Yeah. Yes. It was right. The guy did the coolest video. Um, I, we, my kids, uh, my two oldest are going to be sixteen. My my two my two youngest are sixteen. My two oldest are out of the house, and I moved Vegas strategically, and it's exceeded all my expectations. Literally, Vegas has exceeded everything I ever wished for. The traffic my, is. You're here. Yeah. You're here. here. Give me a pound hand here. We're yeah, here for sure. You moved from Florida. Yep. Josh, you're here all the time, even easy though you live in Cali. Here. It's super right? easy. Skyla yeah. moved. My whole family moved. Uh, my my daughter lives in Seattle. My son moved here. My oldest son, who works for me now, uh, works with yeah, he works for me now. Right? Whatever. Uh, Vegas has exceeded everything I've ever. I mean, let me tell you why this is such a big deal. Okay. Every restaurant that I used to go to Beverly Hills for, or Santa Monica. Or, or Newport, where it was like a 20-minute to three-hour drive from my house. And then if you add the traffic back and all the nightmare that California can be with traffic, they're all here, man. I mean, it's, they're all yeah. here. We, we, eat like, we eat like all the, the coolest shit places ever, right? Yeah. And so for me, and by the way, everyone's coming to Vegas. Like, I, like next week, I got like 13 different people. I'm going to be in Vegas. Can I see you? I'm like, I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's just great. Now, the the heat doesn't bother me, but I do get why. Well, I'm not saying it doesn't bother me. I'm not, I, it's not like if it's 117, I'm out outside going, yeah, I'll just sit out here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, I go into air conditioning. I deal with it when it's going to happen. You can walk the strip through the hotels and not even go on the strip, really. Well, by the way, that was one of my. Were you uh, Were you with me last night for dinner? No. Where did I go? Oh, for lunch. I went to Red Rock with lunch with Chase and, and Miranda, uh, Miranda, Chase and Christy. Right. And he wanted to go to a, a place where you had to sit outside to, to wait for your table, and then they had no texting and no air conditioning. I said, forget this. Went to Red Rock while I waited at Red Rock. By the way, Red Rock has a great breakfast place, oh. Red Rock Casino. Okay. But I go to Red Rock. I get to be inside the casino. It's cool while I'm waiting. I waited a few minutes, and boom, I sit down. Vegas is Vegas. It's just wonderful. I love it. I am the happiest I've ever been. Skyla... What do you think of Vegas? I love it. Like, I mean, I feel like I'm an intuitive person, and I didn't ever feel like a bad feeling. Like, when you were like, oh, we're moving to Vegas, I wasn't, like, scared. I was like, okay, great. Like, new adventure. Let's go. I was excited. I didn't know Skyla would say yes, by the way, because her boyfriend lived in California. Yeah, I was and, so but scared. But Skyla's very him. independent. She, she's like, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. I'm going. Like, like, I'm going. But speaking <laughs> of going... Um, and I, why have we not updated the market? Because we've been talking. I don't understand why the Dow is down and the Nasdaq is up. I am clueless. I'm going to go to the audience later today so they can answer the question. Please explain to me the economics of where we are. Okay, Jason, yeah. where are yeah, we? I mean, Facebook helped it for sure. Yeah, let's go. Let's start with the Nasdaq. Fourteen thousand five hundred plus one forty. The Dow thirty four two eighty two minus one fifty one. Let me touch on the Nasdaq. That's an all time high. If I'm if I if I'm not mistaken. The S and P forty two ninety up ten. Uh, Bitcoin not dead, not forgotten. Thirty four four twenty. Ethereum twenty one fifteen. Very very nice move in the upward trend. Oil seventy two dollars uh, down a dollar today. Gold up two dollars seventeen eighty. Silver twenty six dollars twenty cents. And uh, Basel three is coming out. That's going to uh, directly impact the bullion banks for sure. Copper four dollars twenty eight cents flat. And uh, that's what we got today. Uh, how long is this program going to be on? I have some exciting news, but it has to be published first. Uh huh. Darn it. Darn it. I guess we're going to have to cover that tomorrow. Well, we got a lot of other stuff to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we sure do. Well, maybe we can get to it at the end. Yep. Maybe we should just hang on to the end here. Um, what do you think of crypto right now? Well, I mean, it keeps taking all these body blows. From other from countries all over the world. Sure. Mexico today said, "Yeah, we're not going to offer that as a currency." Uh, well, that's funny to me because most of the people, uh, most of the illegal activity, are using it already in your country for currency, just like in the United States. Let me go to the chart real quickly here and let's get it over with. Uh, let's pull it up. You can put me side by side with it, please. Okay, this is Alzheimer Neuro. 
Those of you who don't follow the show or live under a rock, uh, I founded this company six years ago. It went public on the 15th of June. Mm -hmm. Today it was up a dollar. At one point, it was at $12 and some change. No comment on the stock. Everything's disclosed in the prospectus. Please read it. Yes, I own a lot of it. I've owned it for six years. I saw some moron online saying, Todd bought it at 0.44 cents. Yeah, six years ago when I founded it before it had a drug. I mean, I don't know what the hell. People like, you can spin anything you want. I bought it and put money in when it was the first money in. That's called risk. It becomes less risky as the drug gets through development. Yes. Hello. Okay, that's enough rant for that because I'm not allowed to talk about haters anymore. I promised him I wouldn't do it. So I was just commenting on the stupidity of of pointing out that I bought it six years ago. What's Rod Wilson asking about? Anyways, oh, hold yeah. on. Yeah. Hold on. Let's go back to that chart, please. Split screen. So uh, I don't know why it went up. Uh, but obviously, read the prospectus. It was a good day for all men up a buck. It's 978 in the aftermarket. Uh, and we're very pleased. But we're more, more, what's more important is how is it doing with patients? That's all the most important thing. So we'll pay special attention to that as it moves towards those, <laughs> those uh, important milestones in the prospectus, which you should read, which is available to the public. If you want to know more about all men, don't ask me. Because I can't tell you anything. However, Rod Wilson says, Milton Todd Alt III, what is happening with the stock? You are buying 40% of I see it all over the news. Yes. I have added to the position uh, of our holdings. Holding company. It is a holding company, and we are we bought more. Uh, let's go to something not that's... Uh, by the way, this is all public record. Therefore, I can talk about it. Let's go to Silver Sun. Uh, I filed, we filed a 13D, our company, uh, DPW All Global. And uh, it closed up 67 cents today. For full disclosure, when it went over 1250, I sold about 40,000 shares. Okay. So instead of having 725,000 shares, I sold some. Uh, then I bought some back at 1150. Uh, <laughs> I like the company, but please keep in mind, I started buying it when it was four. Let's go to the chart here. Let's look at the chart together. There it is. See way over there? I started buying it was four. So be careful. Be careful out there. Take risk, but be careful. Contact your broker. Do the research. Year to date, it's up uh, 294%. <laughs> hey, that sixty cent dividend. Tack that on too. Oh yeah, there's a sixty cent dividend coming. What's wrong with that? A little lunch money. Uh, let's see here. Ad Tech Pharma. Rod Wilson asks. Yes, DP. Oh, you know what? He's not talking about. I'm so sorry, Rod. You're right. He's talking. Yeah. You're talking about Ad Tech Pharma, the glaucoma drug that has a marijuana cannabinoid, synthetic cannabinoid to make your eyes better. Yes, it's true. We bought a 40% position, excuse me, bought the rights to a 40% position Correct. in that company, which they <laughs> hope someday to go public. I don't know if you're seeing a common theme here about the holding company. Uh, there's a theme here. We own uh, Coolasys, which is the EV company. We own the defense business. We own a data center. Uh, we own a big chunk of Olzeman, which went public. We own a big chunk of AVLP, Apple, Victor, Larry, Paul, which we put clearly out there as changing its name to MTX International, but it is not current, so I would not buy that. That is a pink sheet, non-current alternative reporting company, but someday we hope it to be current. Um, as a holding company, we buy other companies with the hope of making them more valuable by using our team and our resources such as Skyla. Skyla, tell us about how you help the holding company. I You're help, on the spot here, but I can I give you a tip. I help in literally any way that I can possibly help and like anything that you need help with. But so, your like, main job is here to is to assist who? Yes, you. Me. Okay. So Skyla is my assistant. Yeah. And she assists me in assisting others. Yes. We what do you think you. about that, Josh? 
Yeah. Your job is in media. You you help uh, uh, some of the portfolio companies from time to time. Yeah. There you go. Uh, AdTech Pharma is a holding of ours now. We did close that transaction and funded them on Friday and announced it this morning. And we look forward to multiple years of dealing with AdTech Pharma. And I would encourage everyone to read the prospectus. No, excuse me. Wrong. Read the press release because that's a private company. And look at the people involved. You'll see there's a big, big, big roster of very talented scientists and doctors involved in that business, Ad Tech Pharma. Yep. That's exciting. I see it right here. It's easy, yep. to, it's easy to procure this information. Yep. Uh, let's go to FRD. Uh, the stock hit 14 the other day. I thought they were reporting earnings today, but apparently they're reporting next week. Next Monday. Okay, so we'll wait for that, but we're a big holder oh, of that. Oh, by the way, they did announce their uh, two-cent divvy today. Oh, they, that dividend, they paid a dividend since 1972. Couple every single quarter. Let's keep that dividend in mind, that two <laughs> extra cents. <laughs> <laughs> I want my two cents. Come on, Steel Company. But they're going to report record earnings. They already pre-announced that they're going to report record earnings. What I thought was meaningful today, and I want everyone to see this, is this announcement right here. Uh, Facebook cast a uh, past... Um, Oh, big breaking news here. Oh, wow. This is breaking news here. Whoa, I see breaking it. Breaking news. Kathy Woods. Kathy Woods. Uh, oh, ARK wow. files to create a Bitcoin ETF. Wow. That is a big deal. That'll be a big deal for Bitcoin if that gets passed. Uh, wow. That's um, That makes me want to look at incredible. GBTC right now. to see. Uh, it's it's good to be the king, says, I think when you change DPW's ticker, Ooh. don't make it MTA. <laughs> Wait, don't make it what? I'm not joking. By the way, talk about getting crucified. We're, we are talking about the new symbol, and I do know what the new symbol is going to be. But it's, the, it's good to be the king. You should know that Will Horn suggested that the symbol be T-O-D-D. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you really just want to get me crucified, right? Wow. Eh. It's not going to be T-O-D-D, and it's not going to be M-T-A. What would the float be on TODD? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Uh, what people willy junk your Manhattan Transit Authority and you'll be crucified. <laughs> uh, MMAT do mergers usually bad. Uh, I'm on, I'm on. Um, there's, there's so much. Oh, hold on. on. I wanna, there's a lot of here. Hold there's on. So I'm on, I'm on. on. Todd, bots are real. It's like a. Market manipulation for short tools on stock twits. Yes. I only listen to my gut investments. Thank you. That's solid. There are a lot of people out there. Uh, Go with say, your gut, man, just uh, like in poker. But what's the value on stock twits, though, just for other people? It's just another forum, right? I'm going to come back to that okay. in a second. Don't forget that question. As I said to you the other day, when the banks pass that stress test, you were going to see money flying. Morgan Stanley just announced just a second ago. They've doubled their dividend. Jeez. They've doubled their dividend, folks. Wow. The banks crazy. are going to pour capital into the system. Everyone that owns these banks are going to get paid as they think risk. it's risk off in terms of, of their worry about their balance sheet. It's a risk off moment it for is. the banks, right? So I wanted to cover Facebook. Facebook, the judge dismissed the antitrust trial, and it closed above a billion dollars. I think this is a big deal. Uh Social media miles in the fifth company to hit uh, joining Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google's parent uh, as a trillion-dollar market cap. Uh, Facebook spiked nearly 5% late in the day, aided by a favorable legal ruling dismissing the antitrust complaint brought by the FTC. FTC, you go down, baby. You lost that one, but we'll see you coming back. You know they're going to appeal that. But Facebook, for now... Whip their ass. It's up 830% year, uh, all time. Year to date, Facebook's up 32%. Wow. Solid. Remember that IPO was a broken IPO? Yes. Yep. Now they're killing it. Yep. Yep. Todd, with the profits you have now on DPW, are you thinking about buying back more shares or float is high so the shorts may, must get crushed? <laughs> Ravi. <laughs> Ravi. Ravi, you know I can't comment. Ravi. Come on, Ravi. Get out here. He's a concerned you need shareholder. To come, you need to become an analyst for us. Ravi. We should hire this guy. Ravi, what would you ask me about What the heck do you do anyways? Tell him to get out here. Ravi, what are you doing in Texas? Come on, Ravi. Get out of there. Get your <laughs> money on, right. Man. Get your money right, Ravi. 
He says, I know. <laughs> Taxachusetts. <laughs> Get out of there. Yeah. Let's go to that IPO we did the other day. It gave some money back. We oh. sold some at seven. Yeah, I uh, got that. We sold some at eight dollars and eight fifty. ACXP. ACXP. Yeah. We sold some at eight fifty. Ah, six twenty four. For mean, full disclosure, when it got back to six fifty today, I think or six forty, I bought five thousand shares back of okay. the like sixty thousand I sold above right. eight dollars. I mean, this is pretty typical uh, of an IPO. Typical though. IPO really pullback. Is. Yep. That's okay. Believe in the antibiotic and the science they have. Yeah. It's definitely an uh, antibiotic that can overcome people that have certain... Uh, when people are allergic to certain antibiotics, this would be a, uh, an alternative. What are you laughing Skylar, what did you do over the weekend? I honestly rested. It was much needed because I didn't really get a weekend last weekend because I was really busy. We were in Florida. <laughs> so this I weekend, I just... Roland and I slept and we started watching... Uh, was it? I need to take a screen. The Walking oh, Dead. Yeah. You know that I actually, this is a true story, I actually took a nap on Saturday <laughs> yeah. and a nap on Sunday like an old man. Like about 3.30, I slept from 3.30 to 7.30. I did the same thing on Saturday before we went yeah. out. I was tired beyond I, recognition. I know. It's like, I'm going to wait to wake him up. He's taking a nap. <laughs> it's bizarre. Like, what? What's I'm, wrong with this guy? I slept like 12 hours Friday night. Yeah, I, I think yeah. that I think you can go in your Vegas, you can go a lot and a lot. Yeah. And when you're in a casino, that you lose tack of time, and then eventually, I think one of those nights we were up till 3 in the morning. Yeah, we were... We had right. a, it was and a long we could have kept going, by the way. Yeah, we. They actually, we were, we were there so long. They said, "We're going to shut this table down." Can you down. move to the other table? Can you move to another table? Yeah. We're like, "Nah, we'll just leave." Yeah. So. And we had people dropping by, playing poker with us. Yeah, that one lady that dropped by. A couple. She was interesting. A couple dropped by. She, the, uh, the last one was like a graphic designer. Yeah. Uh, did uh, I don't know what she did. She's got a uh, marketing business. Got a marketing company for yep. sure. It's good to be king. What is going on here? What's he saying? Uh, he's got something that was... Uh, he's got a funny for you that Josh will show you later. I want funny. to uh, spend my time with the audience. Uh, drunk Hey, the third's going to the Red Sox game tomorrow. Wow. Mm. The third and I are going to do a podcast coming up. It's actually... Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Nice. Gonna I heard start. Jeffries. So Jeffries just increased. They beat, the, they beat and they're going to... Um, Wow, Jeffries is uh, increasing their dividend by 25%. There you go. A lot of people increasing dividends. That's good. FTC court. What else we got? Billion here? dollars. Uh, Bitcoin moving up a little bit on Kathy Wood News. Yeah, let's go Let's go to the... Uh, oh, 787 in the aftermarket on all of Can we go to the uh, viewer questions? Wait, what is it? Seven, eight, or 980, oh, 987, okay. sorry. Whoops, 40 and slip here. Uh, where are the uh, viewer? Getting there. Hang on. Let's see what else we got. Do you have any other stocks you want to cover? You had a list of stuff today you want to cover. Yeah, I had an idea last week at 12.50 for IEA. Nick, this is an infrastructure play. If you would pull that up, if you don't mind. IEA today closed pretty nice, $13.15. Uh, I had an idea about this last week when they were talking back and forth. It looked like they had come to agreeable terms on the infrastructure bill. However, it appears the far-left Democrats aren't quite happy with the bar bipartisan agreement of the current infrastructure nuts and bolts. They actually presented a $4 trillion reconciliation package to oppose the bipartisan infrastructure deal. Well, let's see what happens with this. Needless to say, uh, infrastructure, IEA, uh, very undervalued in my opinion. $152 million in revenue last quarter. 52-week uh, high of 24. I like this play. Uh, target price is $20. Uh, full disclosure, I am long on the stock. Um, also, I believe we have a small position too. So that's just one I wanted to bring up. I'm not recommending the stock. However, you just do your own research. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to bring it to the attention because I happen to hold it. And uh, there you go. The only other ticker I really had was R-I-O-T. R-I-O-T, Riot. It was an easy swing play today. Let's pull it up real quick. Based on the running and uh, movement of Bitcoin, Riot blockchain, easy 10% move today. Uh, you could also probably take a dart and throw it at any of these crypto names. As a matter of fact, Canon, um, M-A-R-A. A lot of these uh, crypto names were on the move today. Uh, obviously, MicroStrategies, Mr. Saylor had a nice day, up 15% uh, today. Let's look at MSTR. These guys, talk about conviction. 
I love reading his Twitter because he's always going back and forth with Peter Schiff. Peter Schiff is a bit abrasive, not very personable, old, crusty guy. And uh, Michael Saylor always takes the high road when he's dueling with him. They debate constantly on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, Michael Strategies, nice day today. That's really about all I had as far as tickers go. Uh, we got a lot of current events that we want to cover. Uh, you know, obviously there's a situation in, uh, this is segment three coming up. I guess you want to What is G-O-E-D? Goad? They tried to goad me? I don't know. We can look at it. Under four bucks. I've been getting so many ideas, I can't keep up with them all. Yeah, I can't keep up with them all. Is this it right Robbie here? says, uh, attention on GOAT, G-O-E-D. You got to write that down. He's obviously said this to us a couple times. What's the deal here? Jason, hash rate is at two-year lows. Thoughts? Yeah, they're all picking up and moving out of China. They're all coming to mm. Estonia. They're coming to America. They're coming to Kazakhstan. Hash rate Todd, are down. you allowed to put an updated book value on the second quarter earnings? Obviously, no one reads a 10Q. The book value, I believe, uh, is uh, uh, much higher. I think it's 350 or 4, 375, 360. I will, I will find out the update and give it to you, Travis. Yeah. And then, obviously, with, with recent IPOs and, and things like that, it, there could be upside to that. It's not... I'm not telling people inside information. You just read this the data. It's right there. It's not out there. So I want to be clear on that. Uh, bots are real. We talked about that earlier. Double trouble. A hard date for the conference. It's in October, and we hope to have a hard date uh, later this week. Uh, double trouble. Dive Adventures. L.A. Story. L.A. Story is scheduled to play there. That'll be awesome. We need to coordinate with him to make sure that we understand what he's going to need, what his uh, sound system and all the stuff he's going to need to play. Yep. Um, that's going to be important. What else we got? Any uh, any other comments? Are we good? That's it for now. We covered everything? Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. That feels good. <laughs> we answered Sends. everyone's question? Uh, that's great. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sens. Hey, King, I've traded this a few times. Which What is it? S-E-N-S. What is this? Sonics. S E N S? Yeah. It's strictly a trading stock, day trading stock. Four dollars. Yeah. Let's look at the year to date. Let's see here. Oh, looks like it's head towards breaking out. Medical technology company. One year. Wow. This thing was down here in the forty cent range. Mm hmm What changed what changed here? I don't know. They must have got a contract. They got news today. They got a presentation coming up, uh, American Diabetes Association. They were oh, they're in the Russell Index included. So what MM, MMAT changed? They changed. I, what what happened here? Uh, the the reverse takeover merger. With MMAT, Torch, right? yeah, Meta Materials, formerly known as Torchlight. So MMAT today, they also performed a one for two reverse split, and now there is no longer a TRCH. That has been uh, delisted uh, or removed. It's now MMAT, which incorporates metamaterials and torchlight energy. And they are now publicly traded on the NASDAQ. Really? Yep. So that merger went through. Options are available. The merger is complete. Absolutely. They haven't announced the liquidation of the assets from torchlight, the actual dollar amount. Nor have they announced the actual award and preferred shares to the shareholders of date for the record date for the actual dividend. So we're waiting on that bit of information. Quite interesting, though. Hmm. The uh, Meta Materials CEO is Mr. P Palakaris. He's on Twitter a lot. Um, he's got quite a footprint on Twitter. He's always he's a man of the people, kind of like you on Twitter. You know, you're always answering questions on Twitter, doing the best you can to inform people where you Trying can. Trying to. That's legally allowed, obviously. And, uh, yeah, he's the same way. As is uh, Newmeyer, Sailor. A lot of the, the CEOs that I like, that I respect, seem to take the time to respond to the people, which is nice. You don't see uh, you don't see the Facebook CEO talking much to people on Twitter, right? Nah. No. I don't, I don't uh, see the filing yet. Oh, so I can't talk about it. That sucks. I was hoping I could talk about it. Ravi's talking about Goad. They bought Appliance Connection. They will have 400 plus million revenue going forward. 
It used to be around two dollars. EBITDA profits of Q2 they're projecting around fifteen million. Uh, let's take a look. Goat is one eight four seven. Go Decker Inc. Yes, that's them. What the hell is that? They I don't even know what they do. <laughs> Robbie, what do they do, buddy? One stop e commerce destination. In and out trader says are deep DPW E V charters in fast food restaurants yet? That is a test they're running with uh Canadian company, uh Tim Horton. And I don't have an update for that yet. Yeah. That's in Canada. <clears throat> Are you saying that Zuckerberg and uh, doesn't have a Twitter account? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. I am on the air, but I'm going to take a call. Let's go have it on someone else, please. <laughs> Hello? Cool. Goad. Hard to borrow. Let's cover something other than stocks. Yeah. Let's move Dip to into some something. Of the news. Oh, Let's move oh, to. Wow. I don't really want to cover that. It's kind of. That's the. Let's see. Oh, did you see this? No. Hey, Nick, check this out. Bezos. Well, this isn't really stock related, but it is related to the market. Bezos sues his girlfriend, uh, Lauren Sanchez's brother, for allegedly hiding assets to avoid avoid paying a judgment. No way. Yeah. He disclosed. He failed to disclose like multi million dollar home to avoid a six figure court order. Well, so, Bezos. so that is a bizarre story. Yeah. So Lauren Sanchez's own brother sold the pictures of Lauren Sanchez allegedly. I don't know right, the story enough, yeah. but sold the pictures about Lauren Sanchez being with Bezos, sort of ratted him out. Right. Then Bezos went after him and won. Yep. Right. Is that the deal? Yeah. And, and him tried... and Lauren Sanchez are still together. Right. And he tried to hide like a house. There was like a. I guess the legal fees were like 250000 too. It's so funny that <laughs> the richest man in the world is trying to take money it's from Lauren Chances' brother. No, I mean, I don't blame him for wanting to do it because he's mad because he called them out. And he yeah. had dick pics or something, right? And yeah. Apparently, yeah, I don't know. And then, of course, uh, Tiffany Cross of uh, MSNBC, she had about a three-minute rant versus Bill Maher, which is pretty interesting. I was going to show you this. You, can we watch a little bit or is that would that be a violation? Know. Yeah. We can watch it. it. Yeah. Yeah, because I was going to tell you, All I'm right. a Bill Maher fan. I think he's been doing a kick-ass job. Actually, the rant is really good. Let me pause. Let me uh, make sure. I, I think he's been up. doing a kick-ass job. I mean, real honestly, you don't believe he has? I do, but he's fair. He's more fair than the typical. You right. Know, if you have like a partisan person, it's hard to find – some kind of equal uh, playing field and a kind of balance in the in the situation where he actually uh, which one is it? I got so many tabs. Up. Come on, Ranter, let's go. That one. Yep. There it is. Blow it up. Okay, right. can we go live on his screen? All right, let's get her. Play up. the audio. Yeah. See if it works. Um, mm. I nope. got my volume up. Yeah, I don't know. How come the audio is not playing? For a long time. There hey, here we go. Check this out. Okay, Bill Maher has been whack for a long time. <laughs> From his makeout session with the blackface expert, Megan Kelly, to his infamous use of the N-word on his show, for which he later apologized, and his continual mostly white weekly panels where he sings sob songs to them about the perils of the shrinking demographic and chides anyone who falls even slightly outside of his myopic, privileged view. Maybe he even said something highly offensive again last night. I don't know. I stopped suffering through that stale, clumsy monologue and painfully out of touch show a long time ago. But I did see the clip Ooh. segment of him complaining about Lynn manuel Miranda apologizing for the lack of Afro-Latino representation in his movie, In the Heights. You're the guy who made the founding fathers black and Hispanic. I don't think you have to apologize to Twitter. I mean, he's a Latino making a Latino movie with a Latino cast. Not good enough. Nothing is ever good enough for these people. They're like children. Okay, so I don't know if the applause from the audience was sincere or if they were responding to the applause sign in the studio, but either way, how disappointing. But let's just address a few things. One, I thought it was not only gracious, but appropriate for Lin-Manuel Miranda to acknowledge the perhaps unintentional colorism in his amazing film. Oh my film, God, and then give me a break. You're, Two, you're, you agree with her? I find it Dude, interesting that this quote-unquote liberal ally is sounding a lot like a moderate Fox News contributor. This is why allies is she insane? Get the side if, if every person who doesn't three, do 
This Bill is Maher, ridiculous. You She's do being not ridiculous. Get to tell people of color what they should or should not be offended by. Stay in your lane, Slim. Maybe instead of trying to invoke sympathy for Sharon Osbourne or making sure Tommy Loren has a space to spouse her BS, you should have more wow. diverse panels this of people who can explain colorism to you and systemic color. racism oh, and how these things no still devastate people's She's lives. She's racist against today. white people now. She's Try racist that against everybody. Instead of standing where we're in your this to perch every week now it's to the clap opposite. on other people's lived experience it's while providing really? a safe haven for that was, well that was extraordinary. Yep. Because I got to tell you, this old, angry white man act is See? so played. Wow. I think you're she did, he didn't do that. I saw that the show. Revolution, the favoring of a new system. And look, perhaps you disagree with that. But this is yet another of your perspectives. They cancel and eat themselves. Embarrassingly ignoring what's happening ah, all Democrats eat Democrats. Ah, I dig it. The truth is, what's happening now is an evolution. And you are fighting for your power and privilege to not become fossilized wow. while basking fossilized. in the rays of your own Jeez. non-existent cleverness and comedy bits circa three decades ago. Wow. And quite frankly, it's just offensive at this point. Oh, you're offensive. The country, like it or not, is changing in real time. And sadly, fake time. Yeah, they want to take away people's not. right to so have free speech. It's time the for the you Democrats to who are used to be the, with the ACLU are so much, like now eating themselves. They literally, she is eating herself. Yep. Ah! Ah! This is ridiculous. That's where we're at. Let them eat really? each other. <laughs> Let them eat each other is right. I love it. Who is more woke? Yes. I mean, some people like ashamed to you be white to people. You have to be offended, perpe- like the drunk Tehran said. The perpetually offended woke dem is exhausting. Jesus, <laughs> it's crazy man. And you know what? You don't think it's I, honestly. The oh. Democrats don't think it's going to cost them in a year and some change. Of course. Uh, if they don't change this attitude, by the way, why did fifty people from the Portland police resign? The, the yeah, whole entire I know. group. I know. And and how long do you think it's going to take to replace them? They're all doing it because Dude. And, and you can't recruit anyone now. No one wants to be a cop because you treat them like... How do you blame them, though? You blame them for everything. Every cop is not a racist. Every cop is not a bad person. As Buffett said, he's got 300,000 employees. At any given time, there's a problem with somebody. Yep. Anyways. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. And then de Blasio is like, well, we better... There was a random shooting in Times Square, I guess. It was a Marine from upstate from, like, Fort Drum got a bullet. But I'm like, now de Blasio is like, oh, we need to... We need to line the streets with police now. So no, here it is right here. So now you don't want to defund the police anymore? Mr. de Blasio, I ask you. Um, here, Nick, if you wouldn't mind. De Blasio vows to flood the zone in Times Square in wake of the shooting. I mean, you can't have it both ways, silly. You can't be uh, extra woke and then defund the police everywhere and then try to take everyone's personal protection I from the Second there. Amendment. Stay there, Josh. Yep. It's just hey, crazy. Hey, I, I did see uh, a few things on OEG. We're long, OEG. You want to talk about it a little bit? Because I know that, that Rod Wilson would like to know, uh, check uh, what we're doing with OEG. We're long. I don't think we've we never sold a share, I think. Rod, that's an infrastructure play. Green right. tech, solar, massive. They've had like three large contracts recently. Uh, shorts are piled into OEG right now. Uh-huh. They're going to pay the price ultimately, in my opinion. NCTY, 52-week range. Yeah. What OE- is NCTY? Do you know that name? NCTY is a crypto play. Oh, is it? What do Very they do? Very large. What do they do? They're miners. They have mining equipment. NCTY? Yeah, I believe so. How do I, These new names pop up all the time. Never heard of them. Yeah, NCTY. NCTY. Almost certain of that. What do they do? Yeah. The, yeah, the nine limited. The nine limited. Yeah, they're they're a crypto play now. I do believe. Oh God, Formally they had a game sp- now. They had a spike to eighty dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm almost certain that this has a, a crypto element in it. Huh. I Somebody don't know. Let me know. I've never on. heard of NC NC NCTY. Somebody Big let range. us know in the chat if they know anything about the uh, NCTY. Got uh, GameSock back to two thirteen. Here we go. Here now we go. Are... Robbie, a lot of the shares. Uh, I watch EPW go from two to ten ninety four, so I, I know it can go to the moon. I hope so. It does again. Huh. <laughs> I have no comment. Verb, verb, verb. V R B R V R B R. What's up with verb? I don't know. The king wants to play M- the Bill. Is the the king something. wants to give Bill Maher a chance to refute to. He wants to play the clip for uh, Bill Maher. I don't know where it is. If you post a link, I'll play it. It's pretty fun to watch these. Oh, Verb's up in the aftermarket. Eat each other. What is Verb. that? What is that stock? 
That's uh, Ken. You know, Ken, our CFO, is the uh, chairman of the audit committee there. Okay. They make like a software that uh, helps connect it to Microsoft or something. That Let's It's see. like a multimedia software. I see it. Yep. A software as a service SaaS application platform. Right. Okay. Huh. Gotcha. Huh. Cannabis and healthcare industries. Let's get to your joke early. You want my joke now? I want your joke soon. So, Wait, will you be ready soon? No, I'm ready now. I, I specifically, you have more than one or you only have one? I have one. I specifically picked it for you because I thought you would enjoy it. What? Are you Are you ready? Um, I'm ready. Am I ready? <laughs> okay. I'm ready. What did one Dorito farmer say to the other one? One Dorito farmer mm -hmm. say to the other Dorito farmer. Wait, you can farm Doritos? Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. <laughs> cool. Have you guys ever seen how Pringles were made? No. 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 So I watched, I've been watching a show on uh, History Channel, how food was made in the U.S. or something, like important brands that were developed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Frito-Lay and Lay were different companies at one point, and they merged. And they merged with, they ended up getting bought by PepsiCo. Okay. And then Frito Lay, the guy, what's his name? The guy Lay, whatever his first name was, Wilbur Hayes or something. He continued to run Frito Lay. The guy at Procter and Gamble wanted a better potato chip because he's a consumer brand guy, mm -hmm. and they engineered a potato chip out of potato flakes, cornstarch, and some other things. And he became, uh, he got called by Eisenhower, the CEO, to go be. Uh, Secretary of Defense for a couple of years, so they scrapped the Pringles project. They, they scrapped it. And then he came back and was pissed, and he brought an army guy in who knows how to make dehydrated stuff, and they ended up making Pringles, right? And they're called, it's an oblong shape that's de designed to be strong, so the, yeah. but they don't break, so they're in the cylinder. And right. The guy came up with the tennis can yeah, yeah, where he yeah. put them in there, right? So they were sealed because they didn't want... The, back then, potatoes were delivered in bags that got air in them. They got stale. They got bad. Crunched. Mm -hmm. They were messed up. And so eventually, Pringles gets... The guy comes back as CEO of Procter & Gamble after his two-year stint as Secretary of Defense. They put him back in charge. He restarts the program. And he invents this thing, and they call it a newfangled, remember this? Do you remember this, uh, uh, Brett? Newfangled potato chip, which is a Pringle, right? And I don't. I think the guy was Mr. Fabulous or whatever he was. So they bring back the potato chip, or Pringles potato chip. The Lays are so pissed that they go after the FDA, and they get them to eventually say that they're not potato chips because they're made of 60% something else other than potato chips, but they're using potato flakes. But by then, they had built such a big enough brand that they decided not to say anything on the package. Uh -huh. There's nothing on the package. They just called them Pringles, uh -huh. and they were their own brand. And I thought of you immediately. <laughs> I thought I did think of this guy Josh, right? You like Pringles? No, no, that's not the point. <laughs> is that he's he's he is really into branding. We use an outside firm for this. Yep. And I was the power of this story about how this guy created Pringles, mm -hmm. and he said a newfangled potato chip. Yeah. And then the FDA said he couldn't do it, and they thought they were devastated. They were going to say, like, potato chip-like and blah, 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 blah. And the, the CEO just said, no, no, we're just going to call them Pringles. And boom, 800 million cans a year. Jeez. And God. most importantly, all over the world, different flavors for those genre. Yeah. Right? Localized, for localized, etc. And it made me really think of how w incredible branding is. Mm. How much Frito Lay fought for what they did, the Good Humor Bar, what happened there. There's a really great show on um, on the History Channel, and it's uh, how food was created in the country. It talks about Coca Cola, Michael nice. Jackson's hair catching on fire, oh, <laughs> uh, you know all that stuff. <laughs> you know, it was incredible. I don't know. I, I just found it fascinating. Naked Naked Brands is catching fire in the after hours. Is it up? It's over 70. Oh, can I buy some? You could. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's do it live. OGHL's We're going to do it live. Up. We're going to do it live. You just want to let the IB bill. No, I just like Naked Brands. I want Whenever it trades higher, I want to buy it. Wow, URG's down to $1.41. Ooh. That's something to look at. Where's Naked? Michael well, Rowling while he's says, doing that, it was it called The Food That Built America? Yeah, The yeah. Food That's That it. Built America. Nice. Let's talk about commodities. Thank you, uh Commodities have uh, a lot of them have come off their recent highs, including Hold on copper. A second. Hold on, I'm going to buy thirty thousand naked. Go ahead, brands. hey, ring the bell. Why don't you get it? 
30,000 naked brand. Here we go. Hold on a second. Stay with me. Stay with me. We need some sounds. Yeah. Wait, is it live here? Let's go. <laughs> naked. Nice. Bought at the ass. Hey, there was an article that was in AP, uh, technically paid for by All the Men, uh, written by smarter people than me. Can we put a link up in that article later today on yeah. YouTube? You hey, those of you who want the link uh, for the AP article on All the Men, you guys should read it. It's Actually, exciting uh, stuff. We can't put it up. We can what? show it, can't we? I got it right here. How, how can put you it put it screen? up? Well, I mean, I have it right here. Oh, put it up. Okay. Let me make it. Let me just. Uh, but how do they find the article? Put it in the. We can put it in the, the chat. chat. Oh. It's in the can chat. you pay, can you play for can you play the video? Of course. Yeah. Can I play the video? Of just so, just so we video. know, by the way, I really do love the company, and I was excited to found it. The video is a little like sentimental, but because if your family members were dying, you'd Let feel the same. Let them judge. The All video. right, you the judge. The video is awesome. You're, Give me just. It's just you because judge. it's you. Give you're... me five seconds. Wow, what's going on here, Todd? What? You you look thin there. You look thin in this video. Oh, that's Bill Maher. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let her rip. I'm Todd Alt, and I founded a company called Alzheimer's Neuro. Its mission is to find a cure for Alzheimer's. After the financial crisis of 2008, 2009, I was really discouraged with Wall Street, and I spent a lot of times on the sidelines. I watched my mother-in-law pass away from Alzheimer's, found out my father has it, my grandparents died from it already. And I went through my family members and looked at how many people had been affected by the disease. And I had basically learned that there had been no progress since Dr. Alzheimer's effectively found the disease more than 100 years ago. Even though work has been done to find a cure for Alzheimer's, to me, it hasn't been a full court press. It's a big goal to cure Alzheimer's. And I believe that private sector investment, coupled with an Operation Warp Speed approach can be the catalyst that Big Pharma needs to spring into action. I wanted to do something that I thought would help the most amount of people. I didn't care about what I was gonna make. I got a group of people together, one of my old investors helped me put some money together, and we went to the University of South Florida. We raised four or five million dollars and got it started. I want to see research into Alzheimer's disease fast-tracked with COVID-like urgency. For me, it's personal. I have always dreamed of having a company like this, and I think sharing your dreams is kind of nice. So check out that article if you'd like to. We'll put it. We'll make it available. The link. There's an article in AP. It was sponsored by uh, Alzheimer's. I, I resigned as regu the normal chairman, uh, executive chairman. Uh, I wanted to bring on biotech people that had more color on biotech, and so I'm chairman emeritus and the founder. And they did a nice article about. Uh, the reason why I founded it. And I thought everyone would like to see that. Hey, um, in the last seven minutes, I want to cover a few things. I want to cover a position that I'm not going to file a 13D on. And I want to give a lot of disclosure. Back in, I believe, in December, when the company was just called Engine Media, had a different symbol, I bought this company, Game. Uh, hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me, Game Stock. Uh, G -A yep, that's it. Engine Media. But why that's does it Canadian. say Canada? Canada. Hold on. Let's change your ticker. Wow, big news for. Uh, looks like Playboy made a big acquisition. Honey Burdette, three hundred and thirty million. The stock's up two dollars <clears throat> after hours. Game. Hold on a second. Hold on, we're here it is. It. Nasdaq. Okay, it? so here's Game. Okay. Uh, let's bring up the the side by side. Thank you, thank you. Here's the year to date chart. I bought it down here in a private placement at 725. So I want to give full disclosure here. 67,000 shares, about 500,000 worth at that lower level. And then I recently been ac accumulating it between nine and 11. I, so we have 107,000 shares of G-A-M-E, -G game. Mm -hmm. I'd like that obviously to put on the link today if you could, all right. I'm not suggesting you buy it. I'm suggesting you look at it. Uh, this is a show for entertainment purposes. I am giving you full disclosure. We own the stock, 107,000 shares in the alt global portfolio. Um, I will, I'll tweet that out too, that we own a position. 
uh, that we 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 own a hundred seven thousand shares. The guy who is the CEO, the chairman, uh, was the CEO of TiVo, and they run a gaming network. My son had told me about them because he uh, he's involved in these uh, gaming to- tournaments that are big, etc. And uh, I thought you guys would want to look at it. Do your own research. Do not buy the stock because I told you about it. But I'm bringing it to your attention. Uh, that is game, G-A-M-E. Uh, Michael Rollins. When I lived in Florida, I used to hang out at USF all the time. Great university with a lot of intelligent people. Thank you. Todd, you need to up... Uh, Todd needs to upgrade his iPhone. His camera lens is old... Uh, layout i'll buy him a 12 <laughs> I, I have a a 10 and a a 10 and then i got an 11 that skyla uses Dude, I got an i'll eight get plus. a 12 eventually I feel so bad. you smarty pantses <laughs> i'll get a 12 eventually keep up with the jo- i mean keep up with the uh what's his name keep up with the joneses yeah hey rod wilson congratulations on uh uh Alzheimer, thank you uh we have a long ways to go it the congratulations i hope will follow not because of economics but i'm hoping it gets into patience and treats people and that data is good the data is important listen i'm not going to comment on biogen's drug right um i'm not a fan of it because of i'm a fan that something got approved i i i've known about that drug for a long time and i've communicated with people on the drug uh, there are a lot of other companies out there in this space, and you, you got to understand, this is a big space with a lot of people's with problems. There's lots of variances is how Alzheimer's treated. So I wish them all success, and no one would be happier than me if someone found a cure quicker than we would. I Because I, believe me, it's a terrible disease, and I don't want my wife to get it. I don't want any of your family members to get it. And if they do, I want to give them some sort of hope. Hey, Josh, as we close out the show... Um, 949-799-1831 if you want to uh, be involved in big business with Todd Alt that is a weekly call you can get on the call with us you can learn about what I'm doing I'll learn about what you're doing we'll be answering your questions 949-799-1831 type in B-I-G in the text 949-799-1831 uh, what's, what's the cost of that Josh what's the sh- cost of the show going to be we haven't rolled it out yeah. Completely. Yet, so for but, everyone here, it's going to be a, something dirt cheap, right? Yeah. Get in early because uh, we're going to set. Hold on, uh, hold on. Scroll back down. Scroll back down. Yep. How long uh, have you have you been played in game? Do you have a target? I don't have a target, um, and I started. Uh, I started buying game. Nice. I bought the private placement before it listed on the Nasdaq. I believe in December or January, give or ring that time frame. And so I've been in it about six months, and I recently. It's good to be the king. I recently added more. The, the The only reason I'm bringing it up is not for you to buy it, but I feel bad now that I realize that people don't know what I'm trading, and so I'm trying to like think if there's something I own, I want to make sure uh, that I call it out there that I think is important, and this is an interesting stock. You guys are smarter than me about this stuff, so don't buy any of this stuff without doing your own research. Um, what is this here? Motley Fool After Hours. What's it saying? Bad why, or good? Covered why else in neural pop, could have popped today? Why it popped today? Oh, really? Just uh, you know, it's just a uh, anything uh, interesting. Key spites. Well, he says it's possible that one or more large investors decided to scoop up Allsman shares on a pullback, creating upward pressure for a float for a tiny float stock. So yeah, that huh. that's about definitely possible. In Motley Fool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's right here. Fool.com. <laughs> just well, came out at four right at the right at the bell. Wow. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's crazy times. Josh, you got anything else we should cover? I think that's it. I mean, um, something big's happening on the 12th of July. Hey, yes. if you're in New York City, if you are in New York City and uh, you have time on Tuesday morning, the 13th of July, let me know. Because on the 12th of July, Alzheimer's Neuro, Neuro, its management team, and some guests, people who helped me get the company started, including my man in New York, the uh, investor who supported me from the very beginning that I talked about in that video, he will be in New York with me, ringing the bell, ding, 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 ding. Stefan and I will join the staff of Alzheimer to ring the bell on the uh, exchange. The NASDAQ will be in Times Square. And uh, that morning, if you are a fan of the show, and I, you'll know that I know that you know that I'm a fan of the show. 
If you're a fan of the show and you'll be there, if you text Josh at 949-799-1831, 949-799-1831, say breakfast the 13th, just put in breakfast, Josh will invite you to breakfast with me and other people that are going to be there on the morning of the 13th. It is a Tuesday before I fly back. That's awesome. This is, uh, this is the 103rd episode of Risk On. I don't know why the Dow was down and the NASDAQ was up, but we love you. Take care, everybody. Thank you for all your questions. Skyla, hope you have a good weekend. Josh, thanks for stopping by. From McCallie, Jason, as always, I enjoyed the weekend with poker. Uh, you guys take care. We'll see you tomorrow. It's the 28th. It's almost the end of the quarter. We'll see you tomorrow.